Today we are making these arabesque layered name tags. The best thing is they will double as ornaments on your Christmas tree. Hi y'all and welcome to Daily Dose of DIY. We are on day 13 of our Christmas craft kickoff event. That means you can grab these SVGs for free for the next 24 hours. Just head to dailydoseofdiy.com forward slash Christmas 22. Scroll down to day 13 and fill in your first name and email address. Click send my SVG and I'll send it to you right away. You'll also have the option of upgrading to the instant access pass, which will give you instant access to all 14 projects, 30 SVG files and printable PDF instructions. So be sure to take a look at that deal. Let's head over and take a look at the supplies we're going to need to make these amazing name tags. Okay, to make these arabesque ornaments, you are going to need five sheets of cardstock in complementing shades. You can add some glitter or patterns or however you want to do it. You just want five different colors that will complement each other. I'm going to cut it on my green mat. It's well worn. You might need your weeding tool to help punch out some little bits of paper and your scraper tool. If you want to hang them, it will double as an ornament or you can hang it off of a gift bag or tape the string to your gift so it doesn't damage this part. So you'll want some string and scissors and I'm using fine tip glue to put it all together because there are some skinny little places in here. Let's head over to Design Space and take a look at the SVG. I have the SVG already loaded in here, so I'm just going to select it. That green line comes around it and click Add to Canvas. If you need help downloading and uploading SVGs, just reach out to me or check the description. I will have a tutorial there for you to help you get to this point. So you can, when it comes in, you can resize it if you want to make it bigger or smaller. It's about three and a half by four inches. You would resize by grabbing any corner and making it bigger. You want to make sure you resize before you ungroup it so they all size together. Once you're happy with the size, come to the top of the layers menu and click the ungroup button. And then we're going to pull off this top layer here to add the name. To add the name, come to the left menu and click text and then type out the name you want to add. I already have, um, the font is chosen in here. I'm using Christmas Circle. To change the font, you would click on the down arrow and then you can select anything. If you have Cricut Access, any of those they have, or you can click on System and select your own font. You want to look for a kind of a chunky font like this so that your letters don't tear when they cut. And then you're going to center the name in between these two bars. You need the name to touch the bottom and the top. The sides aren't necessary, but you definitely need to touch the bottom and the top. So you may need to come up to this top menu and click the little lock button that will allow you to stretch your name out um, and make it taller. So I'm just going to put his name in there. I think I'm going to shorten it up to give it some margin. My top is top is touching. My bottom is touching. You can select both of them together and come to the top menu again and click align and then center horizontally to make sure it's centered in there. Once it is centered, you want to come down to the bottom on the combine menu and you can either unite these or you can weld them. If you unite, you'll be able to make changes if you're not happy with how it turns out. Once it's united, like I can see here now that the L wasn't up as high as I wanted it to and the Y is kind of close. I think those might tear off. So I'm going to double click on his name and that will allow me to adjust this layer. I can pull it up and make it a little bit taller. And then as soon as I click off, it will reunite, reunite. <laughs> and I can see that is better. It will definitely cut okay. So now I'm ready to click the make it button. There's nothing you need to do on the matte screen. There's no mirror or anything like that. So we can click continue. 
and then I'm going to select, since I'm cutting the first layers out of glitter, I'm going to select glitter cardstock. If you're doing the same and you have an explore, set your dial to custom so you can browse all materials and choose glitter. Let's get this loaded up and cut. So I'm just going to put my glitter cardstock in the top left hand corner and line it up against the side and top line and then make sure it smooths down really well. Once these are all cut, we will come back and get it put together. Okay, it's finished cutting, so I'm just going to remove the mat. You want to flip the mat over and peel it off of your project to help prevent tearing and curling. And then you can use your scraper tool to scrape off any bits that are left on your mat. And if you have any stuck in the ornament that didn't quite cut right, you can use your weeding tool to help you push them out. This one looks pretty good. All of mine actually cut pretty good and I didn't have too many bits to push out. The next thing you want to do is put everything in order so you know how to glue them. Once they are in order, grab your fine tip glue and then we're going to turn over the first layer and add glue all to the outer edges. Then attach it to the next layer. You'll have a few minutes to slide it around and get it nice and centered. Then flip this one over and do the same thing. We're going to repeat this process all the way through all the layers. Finally, cut a piece of string and put it through the center and tie it off. You can tie it to gift bags, so you can use them as an ornament, or you can use it to tape down to your gifts. It will double as a name tag and an ornament. Aren't they spectacular? Thank you so much for crafting with me today and making these arabesque name tags. Be sure to get your free SVG at dailydoseofdiy.com forward slash Christmas 22 and make sure you're subscribed. Stay tuned tomorrow on day 14. We will be making exploding Christmas boxes. See you then and God bless.